what's up everyone welcome back to my channel it is sweater saturday in today's video i'm gonna be trying something new something i've been wanting to try on my hair for a while but i was scared okay i need to admit that i was scared because um yeah anything that you're gonna put on your hair is either gonna make it or break it so <laughs> For the purposes of sweater side today, trying new things. Um, yeah, so let's just get into the video. So, for a while now, I have been seeing some videos of people using bentonite clay to condition their hair. So, I've been using bentonite clay as a face mask for some years now. I know that it works really well for my skin. My problem is when I put it on my skin, it kind of feels drying, but I have oily skin, so I do not mind that. Now, I do not have oily hair. My hair is literally dry and brittle, and it's been feeling very weak these days so a friend of mine suggested that i try the bentonite clay and apple cider mask on my face i mean my hair and um you know that is apparently the ultimate moisture retention so okay i was a little scared so i watched a lot of videos and it seemed like a lot of people were getting you know good reviews and there were some mixed reviews so today we're going to be trying it out to see if it's going to work for my hair or not so what you're going to need is obviously bentonite clay i got this from Diskim for i believe it was about 30 to 40 bucks okay and then you're also going to need some apple cider vinegar the unfiltered the better make sure it still has the mother in it and this was actually very affordable as well and you're also going to need some water and of the a spray bottle to keep on rewetting your hair i have very low porosity hair so i need to make sure my hair is damp when i apply product on it so let's get to mixing this one thing to note about bentonite clay is you need to use non-metal utensils otherwise it reacts with the clay and you lose all you know the um the properties of the clay so i also have my measuring cups here and i'm going to mix about this is a half a cup so i'm going to mix a cup of clay that was one cup of clay and apparently also use equal parts of water so one cup water i'm going to mix in half a cup of apple cider vinegar it's actually starting to look really good i'm just not keen on that vinegar smell but we're gonna rinse it out anyway so my i don't think my hair is gonna smell vinegary if you get what i mean so, um apparently this mask is really good for your hair because the clay actually um helps your hair retain moisture more and it draws dirt and oil from your scalp so you can essentially use this as a shampoo and conditioner all in one i guess you don't even have to go ahead and shampoo your hair but i shampooed mine so yeah um i don't know how to break <laughs> these chunks it's looking very very chunky at the moment okay so i've already gone ahead and washed and conditioned my hair in the shower so here is my clay mask mixture and i'm just going to take my spray bottle to re-wet my hair this is the continuous misting one i actually like it a lot 
my hair is soaking wet now and we're just gonna go in we're just gonna go in and begin applying like we're applying a deep conditioner wow first things first it it feels drying i'm not gonna lie it's not like when you're applying like a moisturizing conditioner and you can feel the slip and stuff like that so it actually does feel drying so i don't know how that's gonna work out but i'm actually loving how it is defining my curls it looks so good i mean look at my curls look at them make sure you get that back piece honestly i'm actually really worried if my hair is going to feel dry um a lot of people recommend you leave it on for about 10 to 20 minutes but you know i usually leave on my deep conditioners for about 30 to 45 minutes so maybe today i'll listen um yeah i'm just going to finger detangle because i already detangled my hair in the shower and i don't feel like getting my combs dirty with this so that's the first section of hair covered in the clay mask my skin has also been bugging lately i don't know if you can see so i think i'm gonna go right ahead and um apply some on my skin as well while i'm busy with my hair and yeah i'll rinse this out once it dries so done i'm gonna move on to this side and I'm going to wet that section. You know when you apply anything, you always start from your tips and your or your ends to towards your roots. Oh god. I'm really worried about how drying it's feeling. But for the purposes of the experiment, we're going to go on and hope for the best. I mean, I have done an apple cider rinse on my hair before, so I know that that's beneficial. The vinegar is burning my eyes. And yeah, I'm struggling to like, oops, keep them. I wonder if it'll be easy to rinse out of my hair because I mean on my face obviously that's been easy but I wonder if it'll be easy to rinse out of my hair um the reason why I'm not twisting my hair is because I don't want the mask to dry and my hair is twisted so I'd rather have it loose and it's kind of easier to rinse out as well so yeah I'm honestly not liking the dry feeling. I'm used to moisturizing um, deep conditioners and those usually have a lot of slip to them. But yeah, this feels dry, which is very worrying. But we'll get over it when we are over it. we are done this side is actually starting to feel a little bit softer but this is what my hair looks like coated in all of this and there's quite a bit left so i'm just gonna store that away um i'm just gonna apply obviously to 
my edges and my make just to make sure that's also covered and massage it a little bit so I'm still debating how long to leave this mask on for so I think I'm gonna go for 25 minutes and as you can see the one of my face is beginning to dry so I'm gonna rinse that out in about five minutes but this I'm gonna leave on for maybe 25 to 30 minutes because that's how long I usually leave a deep conditioner on um most of the videos I watched um you don't have to put a plastic cap on your hair so I'm just gonna leave it as is um it still feels dry on this side as opposed to on this side so I think it's already started working because it's been obviously on this side a bit more longer but yeah I'm gonna leave it to do its thing and I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like I am shocked <laughs> I haven't seen my curls this moisturized and this defined ever ever guys like if I had to do a wash and go this would Oh my god, I mean, look, look at my hair. No, I've seen my curls, but this? Wow. Look at my curls. Just look at them. I've never seen my hair like this. I'm still in disbelief, but... Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Um, yeah, um, so please be sure to tune in next week for my video. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And that's the end of Sweater Saturday. So I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.